My name is Polly Applebaum, I'm an artist. Well, the piece is called Mojo Jojo, and that's one of the characters from the Powerpuff Girl cartoon series that was an evil monkey. The whole Powerpuff Girls inspired me. It was the first time that there was a cartoon for little girls. It's a flat nap synthetic velvet that I'm dying on, and for me it looked like the color elevated, so it was almost flying like the Powerpuff Girl. So it had supernatural qualities. It's a spiral of color starting with the center, yellow to black, and I like this idea. I had a system of color, it was very beautiful, but like the Powerpuff Girls, it could also kick ass. <laughs> The color changes as you go around. So the viewer really activates the piece. And when I'm doing it, I'm sort of conscious of looking at that, but the nap is very important. One way it's dark, you turn it around, it's light. So there's this kind of fluidity to the look of it, and so you never see it all. It's always changing, and that's very important to me. It's not fixed. It's not a monumental piece. It's fluid. It's always changing, and light is really important. This is a beautiful, light-filled space, and really the viewer activates the light. So I sometimes call it cheap magic, because on one hand, I'm aware of it, but I'm not trying to control that. I like it to have its own kind of fluidity and life. It's funny, the 70s were very influential to my art making practice. I always say I'm a kind of bad crafts person. I've never tie dyed in my life. I love tie dye, but yes, it's an influence. This whole idea of the hand, and for me, discovering hands. Well, I was really interested in craft, and in the art world, craft has, over my time as an artist, has kind of been on the low side. So I love kind of mixing high and low and something that's handmade but also has this kind of sense of geometry too. So craft, yes, I love craft, but I sort of invented the method to the madness.